Welcome back to another Nourish to Flourish segment with yours truly, Megan the Trainer, registered dietitian, and today we're joined with Bo. There you go. And I am going to share my biggest tip that I give clients around the holiday season. And maybe you have a couple more holiday parties, New Year's things coming up. My biggest tip that I give clients is eat breakfast. How fitting to share my biggest tip while we are, in fact, eating breakfast. More what? More banana? Okay, so eating breakfast, why this is the biggest tip that I give clients is because you probably don't know, you're welcome. (laughs) You probably don't know what the rest of the day is going to bring because if we start our day on the right foot, that at least ensures that we have one meal that we are for sure being in control of and that we can really help to set up the rest of our day for success. If we skip breakfast or if we try to push it off thinking that we're gonna overeat later on, you're welcome. Or if we kind of do it to compensate for potentially eating more later on, sometimes that can set you up for failure in that you're going to have more cravings, you're going to feel ravenous, and you're going to eat everything in sight. So breakfast is going to be really important. Now, I'm not going to put parameters on when exactly you need to eat breakfast, but you should eat something in the morning. You should eat something before your day begins. It's the one thing that we have probably the most control over before a day of chaos ensues with holidays, running around kids kids and not really knowing when your next meal is going to be. So if we can for sure lock that in, you're going to be set up for a good success. Some ideas for a breakfast would be this morning we're having some yogurt, some cereal, and some bananas. So you can have some kind of a combination of things. So a big thing that I encourage clients for is making sure that we're hitting some protein. So we're doing some eggs, maybe some cottage cheese, some yogurt, protein powder, nut butters, um, you know, whatever kind of your favorite is. You can also do leftovers for breakfast. Don't always feel like you have to stay within a certain realm for breakfast foods. You can have leftover spaghetti and meatballs for breakfast too. But either way, get something down the hatch that's at least going to get you started and kick-started for your day. So now that you know better, let's go ahead and do better so we can all be better. Bubba, can you say bye-bye? Good job. <laughs>